to cancel what Allah has created in their wombs. So even if she is divorced, which is not, obviously, the guy, he made it clear, she is still married, and he repeated that many times. He did not divorce her. If those are your best cheek, and then, you know, we have war in Gaza, and Muhammad Hijab is so upset from, uh, from the rabbi, and you know, yet those guys, they have time for this garbage. And they bring four women and Mimi Hijab alone, with other guy, Ali Dawa. We we cannot consider Ali Dawa guy. Sorry, you know it's okay. I mean, Ali Dawa can sit with the girls, you know. But what about Mimi Hijab? He's not a man. Showing their hair. Look, what, are they all Muslims? Why one of them she is covering her face? The rest are not. Why one of them showing the half of her head? I mean, what what what, what is the Islamic clause? I mean, what everybody dress as he wish. The women in the middle. Half of her hair is showing. The woman in the left, she is covering herself with the burqa almost, you know, but she has still her hair, you can see, and she has makeup and she has fake eyelashes. And look, she is wearing gloves. She is so conservative, you know. And then they start talking about sex and, you know, sex problem in the bed and why the man divorced the wife and why the women she seek divorce. So, in one hand, Mimi Hijab and Lidawa, they claim that they are busy now defending Gaza. Look, even they have the flag of Gaza in the top. Look, look, they did not forget Gaza. Are you talking? Are you kidding me? They never forget Gaza. They never forget Nagla Seed, Halal cat food, and the flag of Palestine. But at the same time, busy with females just to collect a view and make money. Episode, and look what this they call it episode 17. They have series, you know. You want to, by the way, you want to join, you have to pay for it. Episode 16, episode 17, 18. Uh, okay, and then they will stop because now it's the month of Ramadan. It is episode the Billy Dancing. So, do you see how much corrupt this society in the appearance? In the appearance. They say, MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah, Bismillah, Ballallah, Allah. Behind the scene is the most corrupt society ever. Imagine you are married to a man, and this man he go to other women, and now he is not fornicating. No, he said to her, "Let us have secret marriage. You might spend with you with this man for ten years. You never notice." He claimed that he have a business. He, you know, he he trouble a lot. You know, he trouble. He's doing business. Any night he want to sleep with the other wife, he do the same. You know, like um, I have to go. And the man, if you remember, Lee Dawa himself, he made a video that a man, if you remember the secret, uh, you can search for it. Secret wife, can a man take a secret wife? Uh, uh, Mimi Hijab, he said. A man, yes, he can lie to his wife. It is Islamic. You can lie to your wife. So this is what Islam is about. What is from God in what they do? You see, if somebody, like all of us, we fight sin. I fight sin, you fight sin, I get tempted, you get tempted, everybody get tempted. Everybody in the world. And there's millions of things to get you know, tempted with. But those people, they justify by their satanic cult, their evil doing. So if I do evil, if I cheat, if I go and sleep with the woman she is married, I cannot justify it. I cannot say, oh, okay, it's okay. I cannot say this is a marriage. Those people, they justify. They justify when they kill a baby. They justify when they rape a woman. They justify anything because Islam is satanic. The point of Islam is to justify evil. So now, prostitution become marriage. They call it they call it marriage, but it's nothing but prostitution. Opening a casino for a pimp like Andrew Tits is legal in the Quran. And if you force your slaves to do prostitution, Allah is all merciful, he will go justified. It's not even forbidden. 
In one hand, they say to you, the Quran forbid adultery, but isn't it all their marriage is adultery? This old man, he is a friend to this guy. And he is already married and he has four children. Why he is looking for a new woman to sleep with? And why he is using a person? I mean, aren't you ashamed that this guy, he is your friend? Aren't you ashamed that you are the one who married him to his wife? You are the one who did the ceremony? Aren't you ashamed that always you take selfie with him and you speak about how good he is doing da'wah to bring people to Islam? And then you take his wife? Do you have a shame? They don't have a shame. And here, you will see the comments of some Muslims. You will notice nobody really... Uh, uh, I mean, this video should have like a million of you from the Muhammadan, but nobody care. I mean, Uthman is doing his job, lying about Islam, defending Islam. That's enough for us. He sleep with your wife, he sleep with any wife. Who care? As long as it's not my wife, who care? So Islam, the truth, he said, Wow, this is shocking. I don't know this. That's it. Samir saying, this Uthman is a low life. How cannot be trust who cannot be trusted? I posted some bad things about him, but his lucky that Facebook made me take down my post. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Why you are su surprised Muhammad did the same to his son-in-law? Thank you, Mr. Just saying. <laughs> this is an educated person. He got them busted. You dodged the bullet there with the dish, uh, uh, dishonest, sorry, I said dish, dishonest, uh, cheating wife of yours. You are right to expose him, in my opinion. Pray, Allah bless you, Amin. It's nice to see you, Abu Adnan. How are you doing? Hope you remember me. I celebrate my first year as a Muslim last month. Thank you. Uh, thanks to us meeting in this. Uh, uh, Joyce, uh, are you celebrating that uh, uh, the one who make you convert to Islam, that he himself is in trouble because of Islam? <laughs> What an idiot woman. 